Are your conversion rates low on your website? Do you need to increase the number of sales coming into the business? And most importantly, I guess for this particular video, are you a beauty company? Are you selling beauty products? Now, even if you're not beauty product centric, there's a lot of what I'm gonna talk about here that's gonna work for all e-commerce stores, but the examples that I'm gonna be using are very much focused around this sort of area. So let's get into the video and we'll go from there. Now, unfortunately, I have a terrible, terrible teenager skin. I have the skin of a 14-year-old. Of a um, so I'm having to use this sort of product here, so the Ordinary the Cinemite. Um, and I thought the best thing to do is let's look at the top performing, in theory, pages that are either being paid to be in that position or, or ranking particularly well. So let's look at what those guys are doing because they're throwing money at this. They are wanting traffic to come to their site. So let's have a look at how they're performing. So I basically just typed it in and the way I've done this video is I'm going to work through these. So we're going to be looking at boots. We're going to be looking at look fantastic. We're going to be looking at the official ordinary website. We're also going to be looking at beauty bay. These ones are obviously repeats. So then we've also got cult beauty. So those are the, going to be the breakdown. Now, just so that you're aware, we're going to look at these in a few different ways from an overall, I guess, UI perspective. What do we feel when we look at that site? But what, I guess, additional things are they doing on the site that works particularly well? How are they breaking up the content? How are they trying to increase that average order? How are they trying to increase the conversion rate by building credibility in other items? The idea is that you're going to be able to see all of these and we're going to break them down. I'm going to kind of react to them as we go with the big aim that we can all take learnings from this, we can put them in there. And I'll also say that I've literally got these loaded with the idea that I can react to them straight away and give you a really honest opinion as a web designer. So let's go from there. Now, I might be being a little unfair here, but I'm not necessarily expecting great things from this boot site. I don't think it's necessarily a large site that people go to. I might be wrong. Um, but compared to some of the other brands we'll look here who are very well known in the beauty space, I don't know how popular Boots would be. Obviously, Boots the shop, yes, but whether they would come here. So let's have a quick look. So for what we kind of land on here, our eyes are obviously drawn to this big red. So we're using a lot of color contrast here to say £10 Tuesday is here. Stuck up in your face, which feels generic and not particularly relevant to us. The other thing that they're taking into account is they are pushing this number seven future renew. So they are trying to take me away from the product that I'm on and they're trying to get me to buy something else. Presumably that is because number seven is a boot brand. Uh, so they probably make way more money on it. So quite interesting that they would put a uh, an option for me to buy a different product um, or push me somewhere else. Uh, completely unrelated to their offering. This is, it feels irrelevant to me. If I'm honest, I, I probably think that would, if anything, decrease my conversion rate. Let's try and be positive. Uh, we've got some good reviews here. So I can see the number of views, big, high number, which is good. I can also write a review if I want. There's a push here for some information on wanting it tomorrow. So again, that makes sense. There's some fairly decent contrast with this add to basket button. I'm really surprised this thing is here. I kind of want to remove it. So I'm just going to remove this in the code. There we go. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? So much cleaner without that, that form in there. But anyway, that's their decision. And obviously, we can also break this down with Klarna, PayPal, and there's a number of points. So we are giving them a reason to come back to Boots, which is nice. You know, you get your points if you shop with us. That works quite nicely. From the information below it, this feels like a generic block area where they're just copy and pasting the information in. This could be much better kind of presented, right? Even just down to let's make these bold. Let's put these items in bullet points, you know, just separate them out, make the content more digestible. If we have these really large blocks, people are less likely to read them, unfortunately. So we have to take that into account. You know, even just like need to know, apply serum, do not use in conjunction with other ones, do not use that like... I feel like that could be better explained. And they do have some basic information on delivery options, which is fine. So they're not necessarily trying to bundle it too much. I guess they referenced it as part of a bundle here, but they're not necessarily talking about other products I could do it with. And their sponsored products feel irrelevant is the nicest way I'd probably put it. But they do have other things that people have bought down here. So overall, okay, not great, not terrible, but okay. Let's see what else uh, other ones have to offer. Next, we're gonna be looking at Look Fantastic. So these were the second in the ad. So obviously Boots was first. 
So I think already just landing on this page, it's a little bit uh, just nicer design overall, right? It's a little bit easier on the rise. Obviously, we are still using this color contrast for this like free delivery, 12 months of free delivery, like these options here, but it's not quite as jarring as we saw with that red that was on there. They've got some quite nice items here. So selling fast, so over 106 in the last 24 hours. So we're building credibility by talking about the fact that other people are clearly using this. You know, you can trust it because these people are buying it as well. We are using the logo. Again, nice, easy way to build credibility. And these are really nice. We're, we're pulling out particularly key information. So for example, if you are vegan or you know, you're sensitive to fragrance, we're making that information really clear and obvious to the user. And this is what I was talking about, almost the opposite of what was happening on the Boots website. The Boots website was just a big old chunk of text and you had to read it all and figure it out. So they're realizing that we need to separate some of these out. We've also got the nice reviews, works really well. And then we do have this add to basket. I do think that add to basket button is ever so slightly lost because we have such little color on here with this black and the white. The black does stand out. It does have a good contrast ratio, but I do wonder if there's more we can do with that. Even the pink does stand out more overall. Uh, as we continue down, we do have these descriptions. Let's have a look at how they do it. So again, even just now, that's a little bit easier for us to read, right? It's bullet pointed out. It's referencing it can be used day and night, which Boots wasn't doing. They're referencing it when to use, what the overall application is, what the routine is. So it's, it's very clear. They've also got the other options in here to say these are frequently bought together. So that's a nice idea. And you've got the option for you to add to basket straight from there as well. The other thing I noticed on this one is we do have a quantity option. We didn't have a quantity option before on the last on the boot site. So it's quite interesting to see some of that information. There's a live chat, but we don't, uh, don't necessarily need to click on that now. And then other items that are bought. So again, probably a little bit better than the boots one that we've seen. I think a little bit cleaner. It's, it's a little bit easier to digest. There's some really nice selling techniques that are in there. Is there any videos? No, no videos, but easy to change between different sizes. Obviously, it changes up here, price changes as well. So yeah, quite nice overall. Now, no pressure uh, on this website, but obviously this is the official ordinary website. So in theory, they have less products overall. They should be able to do a much better job of really showcasing selling the options that they have. And probably just on immediate view, I think they probably do. This grid system, especially for a... Uh, an e-commerce store that's only selling beauty products is, is quite unusual. Obviously, this style with this kind of option is it's probably more lends itself um, to clothing. Not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm not sure you necessarily get anything extra from these thingy. We did video. fill up nice and my 10% plus sync 1%, so that has something for Nice videos, so you can see a little bit of that. Um, and really easy to digest this information. Now, this is one of the big differences that if you sell a small number of products compared to thousands of different products you can be really more tailored with your product pages so it's really nice with these guys is they're the referencing like the stage step where it would come they're referencing individual targets they're talking about which skin it's most suitable for so all of these would be potential objections that the user might have to buying it so knowing where it sits is really useful some people might be allergic to certain things so we're highlighting that out and they've also got these little videos, which are quite... If you don't know what products are really ordinary to use, oh, yeah. hyaluronic acid and niacinamide could be exactly what you're looking for. Hyaluronic acid is humectant, which means that it's a substance that helps retain moisture in your skin and keeps it plump and hydrated. Pairing it... Really cool. Uh, we can flip between the different sizes really nicely. Add to cart, interestingly, doesn't really stand out at all. There's no contrast on that at all. I would imagine, or I would really say that that button needs to be black to just draw some attention to it. Now we do have a slight similar issue to what we said with the look fantastic is the site has so little color um, that actually it's harder to have a little bit more of a contrast. So whether we had a color that was just dedicated dedicated to the, the CTAs, that could work really nicely, but I think at least black would really make this stand out. It doesn't even particularly feel like a button when it's white in all honesty. There's also things like this are quite nice. We're referencing pH levels. I guess for some people who know a lot about that, that's really beneficial. And we have had a look actually that I've kind of referenced the usage on, on all of the, on the other two. So let's have a look at usage on this one. So they're breaking down into things, when to use it. It's good for how long. Don't use with other things. I think that's quite nice. We're building overall credibility. And then they're doing a really good job, I think, of selling the fact that there's multiple stages to using their stuff. So we're trying to increase the average order value here. So we're showcasing the different stages. Obviously, the cinnamide falls under this stage too. 
uh, and then stage three as well. It's interesting because obviously with my bad skin, this is like a, a major selling point and I'm already looking at this now going, oh, maybe I should be adding this in. Uh, reviews are interesting as well, although <laughs> some of them look quite poor. Um, but yeah, I think overall, this is probably the strongest one and they can get away with that, right? Because they're not selling as many different things, they can be far more personalized with their options. So this feels like the one to beat so far. So we're now going to be looking at Beauty Bay. So Beauty Bay has an overall slightly different uh, feel to some of the other ones. There's a little bit more color in here. It feels a little bit more vibrant. I would imagine uh, these guys are probably selling to a slightly younger market to some of the other markets that we may have looked at. But yeah, it definitely has a little bit more kind of to it. These are quite nice. You know, Want It Tomorrow, the, we have Boots had this sort of system as well, although I'd say this one looks a bit nicer. This is a really nice example of just kind of a little bit of a brighter color to really draw our attention. That color theory that I speak about, that contrast is really key. We don't want it glaring, we don't want it out of place. And I think this is borderline, but I think the overall color palette does work really nicely. And obviously our eyes are really drawn to this overall section. Straight below it, we've then got things like paying for installments. We've got this sort of information. I think these work really nicely. And then we've obviously been looking at directions of them all. Interestingly, on this one, this just says apply to entire face morning and night. Let's have a quick look here. So interestingly, this one doesn't break down like any of the other sites that we've seen. The other websites go to explain in a little bit more detail about what you can use it with, how you should apply it, at what stage you should use. We're not referencing any of that information here. So interesting to see it might put some someone off. Another thing that has happened is now that we've got further down the page, We've obviously got a CTA here. As I scroll further down the page and that CTA disappears, sorry, CTA is call to action. There's a new one that then appears at the bottom and we do have a name to say what the option is that I'm buying here. So that's actually a really nice little feature. And that's because people are lazy. And if you give them an option to buy there and then, they might do it. But if something as simple as scrolling back up, they may change their mind. So just having it there on screen for them to potentially buy from is a good way of doing it. So although the design of this is really quite nice, obviously we don't have as much imagery. Again, there's an argument that we don't really need that on this style of product, but there's actually just, it just feels like there's less information overall. And um, there's things like your kind of vibe, but nothing feels particularly chosen as an upsell. There's no bundling. There's no other options to increase the average order value. Um, there are other reviews down the bottom, but yeah, again, there's definitely things that we can learn from this and take from this, which are probably more, a little bit more stylistic. Um, but it's definitely learnings overall. Now, the last one we're going to be looking at is Cult Beauty. So again, they've got some nice things in here that we've seen on some of the other websites. We're referencing overall trending, so that's quite nice. We've obviously got the logo again. We've got some different imagery. This feels very similar to some of the other sites we've actually seen. Um, feels very similar to that look fantastic, even with the layout, the fact that you can earn the points, the overall quantity. Add to bag, again, I think stands out. Um, they're obviously referencing it in their own language because they're called cult beauty. So why it's cult, you know, what makes it so interesting? Uh, we've comp compared all this. So again, they're not really going into huge detail about how it should be applied. So that might be a concern to someone, but they are referencing the frequently bought together. So much of this feels incredibly similar to the site. I wonder if it's almost like working from the same framework. It feels almost too similar for anything. Are they, are they available in the bottom? Who knows? I wonder if they're also owned by the hoods.com. We'll have to have a look at that. But yeah, very, very similar. Not necessarily any additional learnings to really take from this particular one. But there's overall, I think all of the individual sites we've looked at, there's definitely going to be something. Um, now, from a point of view, if you're selling products, if you're selling on an e-commerce store, there's definitely going to be things that we can look at. I think simple things like showing credibility, showing how many people are buying it, showing what that social proof is, is an easy way to do it. We want to have a nice, obvious contrast to the individual button that we have. And if we do have multiple imagery, even if it's just trying to give an indication of what it looks like when it comes out, that's fine. I think the ordinary website that we were first on that also had the clickable videos, so you could see people playing it in real life was really nice. And I think they overall did a much better job of really trying to increase the average order value by talking about the ranges of where it fits, what can come together, what items can you buy it with. You know, the frequently purchased items is a really easy way to do it. You've got things like this overall color theory that we've spoken about, that we do have this little bit of orange so our eyes are drawn here. And this is one of the things that sometimes gets overlooked, that color theory doesn't mean it needs to be incredibly vibrant for it to stand out. This bit of orange, and even though it's very pale in its hue, still stands out, still draws attention, 
and there's a way for us to get to that. So that's overall nice. I do think, unfortunately, the boots one that we looked at first is possibly the weakest. And interestingly, they were in the first spot, so they'll have been paying the most amount of money to be in that position. Be interesting to see what the difference in conversion rate across all of those individual sites is. But overall, hopefully, guys, there's some things that you can all take away from this video that you can apply into your over, uh, overall e-commerce store. If you have any other ideas for videos or if there's any other websites you think I should look at from a beauty perspective, please let me know and I'm open to other topics too. Have a great day.